with the uh, one and only Miss Marty. And we're standing in front of this cannon. Can you tell us about that that's brought out to the Heritage Ball? I sure can. This cannon belongs to my husband. And it's the first time it's been shown to the public since he found it in, my goodness, a long time ago when he was at Vanderbilt. When I was a young boy back in the late 50s, my parents had a place in Nashville called Melrose Plantation. And there was a big grove of uh, bushes that were out in the front yard that I'd driven by many times but never paid any attention to it. One day I was out walking in the front yard and happened to notice it was kind of hollow in the bushes. And I pushed myself through there and got in. And I thought, Lord, this would have been a great hideout 10 years earlier. And I hit something real hard. I didn't know what it was. Go in the house, get a flashlight, bring it back. Discovered it was this cannon. So where did you guys have this before tonight? Did you have it in storage? Yes, it's been in his warehouse, or I should say our warehouse, I guess. Yeah. It's been in the warehouse, and when I was made honorary chair of tonight's ball, I said, Mr. Ligon, the cannon's got to come out. It's the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Franklin. So we just have to have it, and it'll be great for people to have their picture made with it. This cannon was in front of Captain John Morgan's uh, Morton, and Captain Morton lived in Melrose at the time, and he was Nathan Bedford Forrest, General Forrest's artillery officer. And General Forrest had two cannons that were Yankee cannons he picked up off a battlefield that he absolutely loved, and he called them the bull pups. This is either one of the bull pups or it's exactly like the bull pups. That's the story of Ronald and, and here it Kevin. is, back at the battleground, and hopefully it'll right be Right back here. where it's probably been here. And in the uh, Centennial, I saw it fired. It still works as oh, far yeah, as you it's know. very working. It pull that plug right there out, and she's ready to go. Well, but let's, let's hope that doesn't happen tonight. Let's not go to war. <laughs> I don't think we want to do that tonight. Well, thanks so much for telling us about this. Thank That's you so a great much. Great piece of history. It. Okay, thank you. Thank you.